We've made a fantastic roast chicken dinner using British chicken. We've also made a soup from the same chicken. And now for the final dish, we're going to do chicken and pasta bake. A real firm family favourite. To make this dish, first of all, you need to get yourself a pan of water on the boil from a pasta. And then you make a thing called a bechamel sauce or a white sauce. And again, it couldn't be easier. Take yourself some milk, pop it into a saucepan, and just for a sort of a peppery flavour, drop a bay leaf in there. Bring it to the boil and then simmer it for five or ten minutes, which obviously we don't want the pan to boil over. And now you take another saucepan, a wooden spoon, always a wooden spoon on metal, and you need two spoons of butter. This makes a nice creamy base for the sauce. What we're going to do, we're going to melt the butter. You want to melt the butter gently. The last thing you need to do is burn the butter. When the butter started to melt, a little trick would be to take a little, little of the butter and then with your fingers, it's the best thing, or you can use a pastry brush, just grease yourself a bowl ready for the pasta bake later on. And now, always equal quantities, we take one, two spoons of flour. It's plain flour. And basically, stir that really hard and vigorously. Now, once it's all come away from the sides of the pan, so I just take the milk and then just stir the milk in a little at a time. You don't want to mix too much too soon. And as you can see, it's coming away from the sides of the pan. And again, this way it doesn't become all lumpy and you lose that nice creaminess that we're going to look for to go with our bake. And then a little bit more again. And keep stirring. It's looking really nice and I'm quite happy with this. My water's coming to the boil. You must boil the water for the pasta. I'm using some of the pasta shells. Plenty, that would be a plenty for four people. And now I'm just going to keep stirring my sauce. I know the pasta's fine, I'll just leave that and it'd be quite happy to cook away in its own time. Usually takes about 10 minutes. And just before the pasta's cooked, to add a little bit of additional flavour, I'm going to take some broccoli. And with the broccoli, I'm just going to cut a few small pieces. Great for the family, a great way of getting some vegetables into the children. While this is all cooking, I'm going to take some British mature cheddar cheese. And I'm just going to grate enough to coat the top of my bake. Now I'm going to add my broccoli. You must make sure that it's boiling though. You don't want the, the broccoli to lose all its nutrients. Broccoli's got great colour, the sauce is smelling wonderful. I'm just going to take my chicken from the fridge. We've now cooked the, the, the pasta and the broccoli. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little bit of the starchy water and add it to the sauce and that helps the sauce to stick to the pasta a little bit. And so I'll just pop that in there. Now, I'm just going to drain the pasta and the broccoli. Just take a little of the sauce and coat the bottom of the bowl. Then, take some of the pasta. Half the pasta, shake it. Then pop on the chicken, a little more of the sauce, give it a little stir and if you'd like you can add some dry or fresh herbs to this, something that you'd like. I might actually just pop a few basil leaves in there just for a little flavour. So I'll just pop a few basil leaves, just rip them up, I'm not even going to chop them and um, a few little thyme sprigs as well. And now, 
I'll just pop the rest of the pasta. You can add some black pepper, a pinch of salt. It's entirely up to you. I'm not actually putting anything with it because I've got the salty flavour of the cheese to finish it off. And again, I'm just pressing that sauce so it coats the pasta. Now, we take lots and lots of cheese. Yeah, it's not too expensive. And grated cheese goes a long way. Now we've got our yummy pasta with chicken, British chicken. Nice vegetables, broccoli going on in there. A nice sauce and we're just going to pop it into the oven till the cheese all becomes bubbly and melted. It's absolutely fantastic. So turn the oven up as high as it can and then just take it down one or two notches and that'll be fine. Pop it in there. We just want to wait now till it bubbles and the cheese is melted and golden and we know it's ready. Straight from the oven, we have the wonderful chicken and pasta bake. There you go, three great dishes for the family from one red tractor British chicken.